Hi, Michelle here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be conditioning my standard poodle to grooming. So um, standard poodles need a lot of grooming. They have curly hair, so I don't want that to be stressful for her. I want her to enjoy that time with me. So to do that, I'm going to be conditioning her, counter conditioning her to all the grooming tools, the sounds, the noises, the feelings, and hopefully um, after a couple weeks, she will be ecstatic or at the very last, least receptive to me grooming her. So just uh, stay tuned to see what I do to get that done. So to do this, I have a little dog bag with all the grooming tools in addition to some random household items. The puppy, yes, and some really high value treats and a clicker. So the first thing I'm doing here is I am pulling out the different items from the bag and marking her looking at the item with the word yes and giving her a treat. So anytime she sees a grooming yeah. item, like the Dremel that I just pulled out, she gets a treat. I stopped using the clicker because it was just too hard to manage the clicker plus the items and the treat. So I'm using the word yes instead. Yes. This time when I pull out the brush, I treat her, but I also give a couple swipes to her fur as I'm feeding her the treat, just so she can associate the touch of that brush on her fur with positive things. Good girl. From our last session, I saw that she was very relaxed around the brush, so I thought it was appropriate to just elongate the time that I was brushing her. So I took some of her lunch, the kibble, and I put it out on the ground, and then as she was eating the food, I, allow, I started to brush her. And then when she stopped eating the food, I stopped brushing her, and I repeated this a few times. That way she associated getting brushed with lunch, basically. Right here, she starts to be more interested in the brush than the food. That is a signal to me that I am going too fast. Um, she started to get a little irritated, so I just made sure I focused on the food. I gave her a couple small, tiny brushes so that we can end in success. And then I put the brush away. I tried to quit while I was ahead. Hey, my puppy. Come, let's dry off. <laughs> Hi. In this third session, you're going to see me start to introduce the idea of basically the, I'm going to call it the pedicure position. So I find that it's easiest for her to be on her side. So I have access to all four yes. feet and she's relaxed and eating treats with her head up above, facing, well, not facing, but just away from her feet. Um, so I put her in that position a couple times, I give her treats in that position, and I really try to emphasize and mark when her head is up, away from her feet, 
and the Dremel is on. And then as the time goes on, you're gonna see me just slightly touch her nails for maybe yes, a half a second to a second in this first session. And that's gonna be all that I do today. So three separate sessions, a couple of few hours apart. And basically I'm just introducing her to the different yes. feelings and, and experiences to being groomed without making it stressful. So that is how I am introducing the grooming process to Abby. And as you can see, she did pretty well for her first day. So she kind of is a little resistant right here. She pushes off of me and then flips around. All I do is make a noise and then kind of wait her out until she gets back yeah. right into the position that she's supposed to be in. I hope you enjoyed my three sessions today on introducing grooming to Abby. Um, so it's very, very important that I make sure she's comfortable and she enjoys the process because poodles, if you didn't know, take a lot of grooming. They take a lot of maintenance and they're not low maintenance dogs as far as grooming. So she is 11 weeks old and I am starting now. Um, the biggest tip that I have for you guys, if you are looking at this video for tips, is that to take it slow have your tools, kind of give them the idea or the, give them the time to get used to seeing the things. Everything is so brand new to them. So take it slow, make it enjoyable, make it a game, make it fun, and it will be way less stressful for everybody. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye. You sleepy puppy? You sleep?